From movie star to deputy sheriff, Steven Seagal is one of the undisputed icons of action cinema. His no-nonsense persona and iconic ponytail make him immediately recognizable among his peers. Even though he's certainly been typecasted as a gritty cop or retired Navy SEAL, Seagal still has a respectable number of movies under his belt. In this video, we're taking a look at the top 10 Steven Seagal movies of all time. Number 10, The Glimmer Man. We got the badges, we got the guns, we got a screwdriver. It's kind of like, you know, taking a screwdriver to a gunfight. Not every Seagal movie is going to be a super serious action flick, and The Glimmer Man is the perfect example of that. Seagal stars next to comedian Keenan Wayans in this action-packed buddy cop film where bullets and jokes land right on their targets. Seagal stars as a former government special agent who now works as a detective in LA. He's assigned a case with Detective Jim Campbell. The two form an unlikely pair as they learn how to overcome their differences to catch a serial killer on the loose. I have something in my pocket right now that'll completely clear up that bruise on your forehead. What bruise? Oh. That bruise. Number nine, Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. Ryback's tactics. Ryback. That's what it says, Ryback. Casey fucking Ryback. In this film, Seagal reprises his role as the tough ex-Navy SEAL, Casey Ryback. Ryback accompanies his niece on a train ride from Denver to Los Angeles, hoping to finally enjoy some free time with his family. His plans are cut short when a group of terrorists hijacks the train he's in just as it is crossing dark territory a section of track where the train loses communication with any station. As many of his colleagues and fans know, Seagal is a dedicated man when it comes to his projects. In this film, he was present during the whole editing process, handpicking the takes he liked the most. This drew some ire from the director and the editor of the film, but that was a price that Seagal was willing to pay. Number eight, Exit Wounds. I'm gonna go get Strut, you take your martini. I got that motherfucker. Seagal has always had a close relationship with law enforcement, seeing as he works as a reserve deputy chief in Louisiana. In this film, he explores something that has always been a delicate subject when it comes to the police, corruption. Exit Wounds tells the story of Oren Boyd, a police officer who comes face to face with a massive web of corruption in his precinct. After a brief hiatus, this was meant to be Seagal's triumphant return to theaters. In a way, it was. Exit Wounds would end up being his most profitable movie, but it was also the last time one of his films would see a wide theatrical release. Freeze! Number seven, Hard to Kill. I'm gonna give you more time than you gave my wife. Hard to Kill is the second movie in Seagal's acting career. This flick certainly helps to typecast him as a no-nonsense action hero with a firm sense of justice. In this early 90s action thriller, Seagal plays Detective Mason Storm, a man who intends to expose the corruption of a group of dirty cops. Those cops attack Storm and kill his wife, leaving him for dead. What follows is an exciting story of revenge, complete with all the ultra-violent scenes that made the early 90s action movies so unique. Number six, Marked for Death. You want some blow? Yeah, I want some blow. Put your hands where I can see them, I'm gonna blow your head off. Released a mere eight months after Hard to Kill, Marked for Death pits Seagal against a gang of Jamaican drug dealers that terrorize their enemies with a combination of guns and voodoo. The leader of the Jamaican gang is a man who goes by the name of Screwface, a moniker he got from a Bob Marley song. Released in the year 1990, Marked for Death became the center of the debate about violence in TV and movies going around in America at the time. The National Coalition on TV Violence even called this movie one of the most violent films of 1990. So if you're in the mood for some over-the-top violence, you should definitely give this one a watch. Number five, Above the Law. If I find out your line, we'll come back and kill you in your own kitchen. This is it, the holy grail for Seagal fans. This 1988 action flick marks the acting debut of Steven Seagal. Before he took up acting, Seagal was a respected Aikido master in the Los Angeles area, and his skills in martial arts were part of the reason why he got the lead role in Above the Law. A Vietnam vet who now works as a Chicago cop, 
uncovers a shady business in his city, and he fears that the CIA might be involved, involving narcotics, explosives, and tons of bullets above the law would cement Seagal's explosive popularity immediately. Warner Brothers was so pleased with Seagal's performance that it offered him a contract as soon as the movie finished screen tests. Number four, out for justice. You also would not know that uh, Richie owns this place and that he sells narcotics here because he's a fucking puke and he likes to pervert kids and stuff, huh? In this tale of revenge and drugs, Seagal plays Gino, a veteran detective who desperately pursues the man who killed his partner in cold blood. On his path to vengeance, Gino comes across a vast criminal empire led by the New York Mafia. He also adopts a dog who urinates on his owner's head because the movie doesn't take itself too seriously all the time. Out for Justice is a great action movie that could be considered as the framework for many modern detective flicks. Now here's something rare for a Steven Seagal film. This is the only movie he made between 1988 and 1998 that doesn't feature a single explosion. Out for Justice debuted at number one at the box office and was the third Seagal movie to make it to number one on its opening weekend. That's for Bobby. Number three, Executive Decision. Right, you're next. Talk the bags. Hope there's a good movie on this flight. Unlike the rest of the movies we've seen on this list so far, Executive Decision sees Seagal in a supporting role. Kurt Russell is the lead actor in this high-octane action thriller where he plays Dr. David Grant, a U.S. Army intelligence consultant. Seagal plays Lieutenant Colonel Austin Travis, a soldier who works along with Grant to regain control of a hijacked airliner. Also worth mentioning is that Seagal's name doesn't appear in the opening credits of the movie. This was a serious time-off moment for Seagal's budding fame. Number two, Machete. So, I think I'll say goodbye. Seagal doesn't always have to play the hero in his movies. His imposing persona and attitude are well suited for a villain role. That's exactly what Robert Rodriguez thought when he made 2010's Machete. In this film, Seagal plays Rogelio Torres, a drug lord and former federal agent. When Machete, also an ex-federale, is hired to assassinate a senator from Texas, things get seriously out of hand. The assassination was a setup organized by his former boss, now known as drug lord Torres. As a way of revenge, Machete launches a horrifying rampage against Torres that will leave many people dead. Fun and extremely violent, Machete is a modern exploitation flick with lots of charisma that's perfect for any kind of audience as long as they enjoy bucket loads of blood in their films. He's machete. Our number one pick is Under Siege. Come on, that's not striking an officer. That's striking an officer. We couldn't include Under Siege 2 on this list without mentioning the original, and with good reason. Under Siege is an action thriller that follows ex Navy SEAL Casey Ryback aboard the U.S. Navy battleship Missouri. Before the battleship could be decommissioned, the ship is raided by a terrorist organization hell-bent on taking it for themselves. Under Siege is widely regarded as Seagal's best film to date as the movie received two Oscar nominations for its stellar sound production. The film currently holds an approval rating of 78% on Rotten Tomatoes and was rated a 6.5 on a scale of 10 on IMDb.com. Do you agree with our list? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be the first to receive new top 10 videos from Stream TV.